Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah and today I'm going to teach you guys how to download Wicked Whims for The Sims 4 as well as animations for the mod. So first and foremost you're going to go to wickedwhimsmod.com which is at the top of the page right here and then it has this little pop up 18 plus content obviously. So you're going to hit enter if you're over 18. Okay if you're under 18 don't hit enter, go someplace else, watch Spongebob. But if you're over 18, you press enter, and here it'll take you to this page, and you will go to download, and then it'll give you these two options, itch.io or nexus. I do itch.io, I don't really know what nexus is, but I always click the itch.io itch one. Then you will scroll to the very bottom, where it'll have the download options. Make sure you download the most recent one for the patch that is out. So this one today, I'm just recording this is on June 14th and there has been an update today. So I'm gonna download the June 14th one. So once you have the mod downloaded right here, we're going to now go to download the animations. You could download the mod and then install it and then download the animations and then install those. But to make it this easier, I'm just gonna download all the mods and animations together and then install them all together. So you're going to close out of this window and go back to the downloads page. And then all you have to do is scroll and boom, here are all of the animators and everything for the mod. Most of them don't really have any descriptions except for a few of them, um, like these two do. And so you don't have to just click through their pages to pick which one that you want to download animations from. So I'm going to click on Grey Naya because I'm pretty sure I've downloaded her animations before one time. And we're going to go over to her page and look at hers and I'll show you how to download them. So this is going to take you a website called loverslab.com. It is, again, 18 plus situation. So obviously, if you are over 18, um, again, you can enter. Okay, so you're going to click enter. I am 18. So I zoomed in a bunch on this page for the sake of not having to like censor everything. So when you go, you're going to obviously see above this, there'll be the animations and some ads for things. You could just ignore those, but look at the animations if you want to, obviously decide if you want to download them. And if you don't have an account, it's going to say create an account or sign in to download this. So you're going to scroll to the top of the web page, and here you have the option to either sign in as an existing user or sign up. So I have an account, so I'm just going to sign in real quick and I'll be right back. So now if you log in and everything, it will say to download this file. It'll be a green button and you can click download. Pretty much all animators, I'm pretty sure, use Lover's Lab. So it's pretty much the same process to download any animations for the mod. So now you're going to go into your files on your computer and you should see the files that you downloaded. These are zip files and so you're going to need like 7-zip or WinRAR Win raw, excuse me, or something like that in order to extract these files. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the file and then it says extract here. I have WinRAR, that's what I use. I'm pretty sure both are free. Um, I haven't paid for them, so I'm assuming they're free and I use WinRAR. So you're gonna hit extract here. And as you can see right here, it says wicked whims mod. So what you're going to do right now is right click, copy, and then you're going to go into your documents folder. Then if you know how to download mods, it's the same thing. You just throw it into your mods folder. But in case you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you're going to go documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, then you're going to mods. And here's all my mods and my CC. It is not organized at all whatsoever. But now you're going to just right click somewhere and then you're going to hit paste. As you can see, Wicked Whims mod is right here. Now that mod is in my game. So now the mod has been installed into your game. Now the next step is to obviously install the animations. Also, when you extract your files for Wicked Whims, you might also see these three installation instructions as well as just info and license and all that good stuff. I just delete all this stuff. It's not, it's not that important <laughs> in my opinion. We have now installed the mod and this is the little zip file. I'm just gonna delete it now. And so here we have the animation. So same process, extract here. So now here you will find the animations for this specific modder. Some modders have all their animations in a little folder. Sometimes it ends up just being one little package file and you'll follow the same steps copy and paste it into your mods folder 
I recommend pinning your mods folder to quick access if you have a PC. This tutorial for PC, by the way, if you have a Mac, it might be a different process. But I pin my mods folder to my um, quick access so I could just take it and then drag it over into my mods folder and voila, done. All right, so once you have put both your mod as well as your animation into your mods folder, also I recommend making like a folder within your mods folder for your animation so they're all in one place. I didn't do that so the animation is somewhere in the sea of package files, but obviously I could just search it anytime I want and I will find it. As you see, gray naya animations .package. It's in here. But I would recommend if you're going to download a whole bunch of animations, which you probably should if you want to have a bunch of variety, I would recommend having a folder within your mods folder so that you can put all your animations in there so they don't get lost. So now that we have the mod as well as our chosen animation into our mods folder, we're going to hop into our game to make sure everything was downloaded properly. Okay, so now we're in game, my UI cheats um, mod is broken, so like ignore this catastrophe. It has nothing to do with Wicked Whims. I'm just dumb and forgot to update my UI cheats. But anyways, when you first bust open your game, you should get a few little notifications. So one would be congratulations, you installed some new mods. A total of 260 new animations have been installed. It says which new animations those are. So mine were by Great Naya. And then also if you scroll up a bit, it says, hello, you're running Wicked Whims, da da da, which, um, which version of the game, uh, mod that you're running and so that has all that and then um yeah see it had notes another pause pop wicked whims has been installed so if you see all that that means you probably installed everything properly also this will pop up patreon you should definitely support these people on patreon and if you have female sims in um your household um this will pop up da 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 whoever will soon have their period so that should all appear. So to make sure obviously that your animations are working, now I'm not gonna show you these animations because this is YouTube, but I'm gonna show you how to make sure that they're working. So obviously you're gonna click on a bed, for example, and then hit Wicked, obviously this, and then you could pick one. I'm just gonna hit random, and then obviously with her husband. And so I'm not going to show whatever they do, but they should talk to one another wherever they are. So if they'll chat with one another, this will appear. They will walk to the location that you selected, they will disappear, and then I'm going to pan the camera away, <laughs> and then this will happen. Obviously, you could pan your camera over and see what is going on on the screen, but this will appear, and yeah, so that is the mod. We're not going to uh, look. <laughs> <laughs> that is the mod. So that's how you download the mods. I hope this was a very informative and helpful um, tutorial. If you have any questions and any clarification, um, comment that down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, that is the mod. Tell me of other mods that you want me to do a little how-to on. I want to do a how to download Woohoo Wellness. Um, I like that mod. It's been very fun. I want to do a how to download and also a little mini mod overview of that mod because I've been really enjoying it as of lately. So if that interests you, um, feel free to stick around, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment, whatever, check out some of my other videos, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Um, so Bye-bye.